Hello people, in this video let us look at what Rene test is, okay. <clears throat> so basically we are in ENT, correct, studying about the ear etc. So here basically we are trying to assess whether a person can hear. So you are assessing whether this person can hear, right. So that is what is assessment of hearing. Now in that, so many types of tests are there, like you have clinical test, right, where you have a finger test, watch test, speech test, tuning fork test. Under that, Rene test is where under tuning fork test. So today we are concerned with what? Only the Rene test. It is a tuning fork test. So what is Rene test? It is a tuning fork test. So we use the tuning forks. So we use tuning forks in Rene's test. What is Rene's test? It's a tuning fork test. It's a clinical test for what? For hearing. For assessment of hearing. Okay. Understood? No. So for hearing. Assessment of hearing. It is a tuning fork test. Okay. Then coming to other types of tests also let us see off. So you have audiometric tests. Right. Then you have special tests, okay. But here we are talking about clinical test under the tuning fork test under the Rene's test. Let us see what happens in Rene's test now, okay. So ready to dive into Rene's test. You know where the location of Rene's test is in the types of tests, right? Okay. So Rene's test, what they will do? First of all, they will take a vibrating tuning fork. They'll take the tuning fork, vibrate it, then keep it on the mastoid process. Where is the mastoid process? You know behind the ear, correct? So you will keep it behind the mastoid process like this. Now, when it stops, the person stops hearing, he will tell you he stopped hearing. Then what you will do, you will take it near the meatus. Okay. That time, he will continue to hear. This is normal. This is normal. Where? <clears throat> this is what? Bone conduction. This is what? Air conduction. In a normal person, <clears throat> the air conduction is more than bone conduction. How many people understood this logic? What are we doing? First of all, we are checking bone conduction. When it stops, you are taking the tuning fork near the near the meatus. He will continue to hear via the air. So, air conduction will be greater than bone conduction. This is normal. Normal. Wait, let me write in green then. Otherwise, you will say why she is writing in red, right? So, what is normal? Normal is air conduction greater than bone conduction this is normal okay so whenever this is there it is called as Rene's test is called as positive positive Rene's test is what air conduction greater than bone conduction is positive test this is normal okay okay good so let us understand here what positive is okay positive means when air conduction is louder than bone conduction here. Positive means air conduction is louder than, air conduction is longer or louder than bone conduction. This is a positive test. Okay. So how do you do it and all? We have told. Take a tuning fork, vibrating tuning fork, place it on the patient's mastoid. When he stops hearing, it is brought beside the meatus. Okay. If he still hears, then air conduction is more than bone conduction which is normal this is positive okay so let this let us put this in the procedure procedure is this put the tuning fork on the mastoid then bring it near the meatus when he stops hearing what are the few tuning fork size um, uh, frequency you will use 256 hertz 512 hertz 1024 hertz these three tuning forks you can use so basically you are uh, testing here what bone conduction air conduction the comparison you are trying to compare these two right now, positive means what? Air conduction is longer than bone conduction or air conduction is louder than bone conduction. Okay. And where will you see this? In normal people. But you can also, this feature can also happen in people who have sensory neural deafness. What do you mean by this now? Don't break your head too much. See, this is the ear, right? This is the ear. Okay. This is the canal. Ear canal. Here you have the tympanic membrane, let's say. Here you have the middle ear and here you have the inner ear. Now, here the nerve is there, right? You understood. So sensory neural deafness means something is wrong in the nerve. This will be neural deafness, sensory neural deafness. Conductive deafness means some conduction here will have problem that will become conductive deafness. So conductive deafness, sensory neural deafness. In case of sensory neural deafness, you may get a positive again. That much you have understood. Okay. 
<clears throat> now let us see what happens in negative that means negative means are you able to see guys here okay better look here it's much clearer now negative means the air conduction is less than bone conduction correct you understood now this will happen in conductive deafness obviously conductive deafness air conduction less so what did you understand here so this is the ear canal correct so some problem here will indicate conductive deafness so if there is a negative rinne's test then there is conductive deafness if there is negative rinne's test then air conduction is very less there is conductive deafness okay a, a negative rinne's indicates a minimum air bone gap of 15 to 20 decibels okay between the air and the bone what is the difference 15 to 20 decibels okay this is conductive deafness negative negative rinne test so people have you understood what negative test means negative test when will you call it negative when air conduction is less then you will call it as negative what is problem here there will be conductive deafness this much you understand okay then specifics if you want to know using those three tuning forks right those three tuning forks which you saw here right 256 hertz 512 hertz 1024 hertz by that you can measure the amount of gap okay that you leave for now okay just understand here the 256 hertz if it is negative okay then it indicates a minimum gap of 15 so 256 hertz if it is negative minimum gap of 15 so here they are saying if minimum gap of 15 is there then definitely it is a negative test so 256 hertz if it comes negative then minimum gap is there definitely this is a negative test this person has conductive deafness so read this statement if there is severe unilateral sensory neural deafness they, it can be a false negative right air conduction can be less than bone conduction this is because of transcranial transmission of sound because of transcranial transmission of sound okay now look at this to avoid this false negative right? guys what they will do is <clears throat> now if they are doing bone conduction test on the other side right on the non test ear during bone conduction they will keep something called as a brani's noise box on the other side okay of the ear the non test ear okay they will use this brani's noise box while testing for bone conduction on the non test ear they will use this brani's noise box for getting correct diagnosis okay this is a way of avoiding this false negative okay so in rinne's test if you are a normal person if you are a normal person okay normal person i am i am normal okay touch it i am normal i get a i will try, try rinne's test now on me i have tuning forks with me now i will try the 256 hertz to tuning fork on my ear on first on my bone and then i will when it stops i will bring it near my meatus now what should happen because i'm normal i should get positive test air conduction should be greater than bone conduction for me okay even then i am not able to rule out sensory neural deafness in me maybe i'm sensory neurally deaf right so you have understood this much hence with this rinne test they always add the weber's test in rinne test what do you see in normal people air conduction greater than bone conduction this is normal and you know that in sensory neural deafness you will have same thing air conduction greater than bone conduction right so this much you have understood now let us look at the deafness part okay so now let us say there is deafness so if there is sensory neural deafness air conduction greater than bone conduction same as normal if there is conductive deafness air conduction will be less than bone conduction rene negative that much you have understood guys please read the textbook and understand whatever you think is right from the textbook okay so this is rene test okay it's all for now hope you have liked this video and uh, hope you have learned something okay bye bye